Uh, so I'm going to start with the Talon. It's a 70 millimeter hydro based laser guided rocket. Uh, it's the lowest cost option in the marketplace now. It is a laser guided system, so it takes an area fire system and puts a guidance section on it. So you're turning an area fire system into a precision guided system that now is going to give you a low collateral damage precision option. Uh, so this is the Talon. So that's the Talon. And that's launched from a helicopter? Yes, uh, it, it's predominantly can be launched from a helicopter. It can also be launched from fixed-wing aircraft, fixed-wing aircraft, predominantly moving slower. And then uh, Talon can also be fired off the ground. But what we found mo most of the, uh, the the market is with the rotary wing and the, and the special fixed-wing uh, aircraft as well. And the next missile? Yes, uh, so this is the Stinger missile. Uh, Stinger has been around for a long time but it continues to evolve. So there's always pieces of Stinger that are always changing. The latest change that we have in Stinger now are some special uh, energetics in it to handle the unmanned aerial systems threat. So as the threat has evolved, Stinger has also uh, evolved, predominantly now for the counter UAS uh, threat, or for the counter UAS mission. So Stinger has always been a, a ground air system. It later evolved to be an air to air system. And now what we're seeing is it's being very widely used in air-to-air, -air, and the U.S. Army is now going back to Stinger in a big way because the counter uh, UAS mission. So Stinger is a uh, exceptional system for your classic, uh, very short-range air defense missions, but it's also now uh, very, very uh, um, applicable for the UAS threat. Can you tell us about the next missile? Yes. So this is the tube-launch, optically-tracked, wirelessly guided tow missile. This particular variant is the tow 2A. It was fielded as, a, as an air-to-ground system, and then it moved to a predominantly a, a ground system. Now that the wire has been taken off the missile, uh, it's be, become an ideal system again for both ground-to-ground -ground and air-to-ground uh, again. So it's the U.S. Army's uh, predominant anti-tank guided missile. So you have a lot of... Uh, and a lot of uh, international customers as, as well. So there's a lot of room and a lot of uh, technology available now that can provide a very, very long range in the missile. It's very simple uh, technology, which makes it uh, very hard to, to defeat against the uh, emerging threats that are going against and trying to stop anti-tank guided missiles. And it's anti-armor? It is, it's an anti-armor system, and uh, but we also have a bunker buster Warhead, so if you're trying to destroy a bunker or a compound or something, it's also designed for that, that as well. And the benefit of that, you have the same guidance section, but you have three different warhead options. And that's, you can man pack that? Uh, it can be fired from a tripod or it can be fired from a vehicle. And the next missile, please? Yes, so this is the uh, Griffin uh, missile. Um, it is a um, Predominantly a, a, uh, an air-launched weapon, but it can also be shot from a Navy ship. It can be launched from the uh, ground as well. It's probably the most modular system out there because, again, it just needs a GPS target, and it can fly to the area. And if you have a moving target, you want to be a very, very accurate. It has a laser seeker on, on, the, on the front as well. So a very, very accurate system. And, uh, you know, again, you want to put it on a fixed-wing aircraft, on a helicopter, on the ground, on a ship. You buy one missile, it can do all four different platforms. And is that your latest missile? Uh, yes, it is uh, very, very new. And uh, it's uh, been, been used in uh, theater by, by a wide range of customers now for, I think, about the last uh, five to ten years. Yes, so uh, Excalibur is uh, it's the world's premier only combat proven uh, precision long range cannon artillery system. Uh, it's been very successful uh, with the uh, U.S. forces and now it's, go it's going to the uh, foreign military sales market. It's a GPS guided system, uh, extremely accurate, and it's, a, and it's an all weather system. So what we found is when the when the uh, weather gets really really bad and your your your, air, your aircraft can't can't see the uh, target, uh, Excalibur is always there. And again, you don't have the cost of buying a plane. You're buying a, uh, a specialty round. So predominantly, uh, most of the 155 howitzers out there have already been qualified to shoot uh, Excalibur. So it can be employed at a at a very very low cost. And the small um, missile. Yes, uh, this is Pike. 
This is a laser guided 40 millimeter uh, round. Um, it is still in development now. And, but the thought is, is that uh, predominantly it's a counter sniper system. So you can gauge beyond a thousand meters and you only have to put your laser spot on the target.